Hey brothers and sisters, this is Brother Chris with the heads, not the tails. Be angry, but sin not. Be angry, but don't sin. You know, I've probably struggled with that verse my whole life. You know, how how is it even possible to be angry and not sin? What's up, everybody? Brother Christopher, once again, this is my remastered version. So what I want to do here is read you Ephesians chapter 4. And I'm just chilling in bed, so don't mind me. All right. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Amen. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto man. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first? into the lower parts of the earth. See, Jesus came down, he, God came down in the flesh in, into Jesus Christ, right? He did that first before he ascended. Now check. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heaven that he might fill all things. You know, Jesus he is God, y'all see. You know, his flesh, his flesh, it, the flesh itself was human. The only thing that was human was the flesh. But it was God, you know what I mean? So, anybody tries to tell you he's not, does it right there. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ. Amen. From whom the body, I mean, excuse me, from whom the whole body fitly joined together 
and compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto edifying of itself in love this i say therefore and testify in the lord that ye henceforth walk not as other gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind it's in the vanity of their mind you know it's like they don't have on the helmet of salvation you know you got to you got to know that you know that Jesus is the lord and he will redeem us amen having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart you know you get the heart the heart is to be guarded above all else because your heart could be hardened your heart could be blinded you know your heart is the most important the most important uh function in your body you know the most important muscle the most important uh organ in your body right so guard your heart above all else amen 19 who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness let me read that all over again having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart who being past feeling have given up i mean who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness but ye have not so learned Christ if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth as the truth is in Jesus if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind yeah your mind has a spirit right and that spirit can be corrupted so going on and that ye put on the new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness and that ye put on the new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness wherefore putting away lying speak every man truth with his neighbor for we are members one of another be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath now y'all's heard that before huh don't let the sun set on your anger amen neither give place to the devil let him that stole steal no more but rather let him labor working with his hands the thing which is good 
that he may have to give to him that needeth. Amen. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Right? They say, another uh, scripture says, evil communication corrupts good manners. Evil communication corrupts good manners, right? Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. See, you know, we're sealed in by the Holy Spirit. That's the seal of God. Amen. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Hallelujah. And be ye kind one to another. Tender hearted, not hard hearted, right? You know, the, the world, the world brainwashes people to be hard. You know, I, I don't really see it too much with these millennials, but, you know, they do it. But when I was growing up in the 90s, it was all about being hard, you know what I mean? And that hardness made me hard, it hardened my heart. And so for years, the Lord just been chiseling away at all that concrete and steel and iron and all that hardness of my heart. And he, you know, he finally made a breakthrough and I surrendered to the Lord Jesus. And I've been a better person ever since so the world will try to make your heart hard be tender hearted forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you amen now God forgiven us so many times that's why we gotta forgive our brothers and sisters that many more times you know what i mean how many times seven times brother chris no 70 times seven amen well, let's take a look at that here people do the most craziest things when they're angry right people do crazy stuff it's almost like an impulse Ooh, i'm so angry i gotta Punch a wall or something like that, you know what I mean? It's, it's our flesh. We have to submit our flesh to our spirit because they're not they're not aligned at all. Especially if you have issues, addictions and things, you know. All those things can get in our way. Our flesh is so nasty and miserable and stuff and it always wants. And therefore, we have to tame our flesh. So here God is saying, it's okay to be angry. Just don't sin. Here you go. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something here. And I'm walking around and I'm into my thoughts and everything, so just bear with me. And I'm sorry I don't have any special effects. My program ain't working right with my new phone, so I ain't been able to really upload anything from, from my uh, studio, but back to the point, be angry, don't sin, you know, oftentimes we get 
ourselves into arguments and debates. We're humans, you know. We have problems. Everybody has problems. And we get really angry. Sometimes we don't even know what to do in situations, you know. And from my experience over the years, from my experience, you know, so many times I've been in a position where I didn't know what to do. What do I do? And the situation was just the biggest mountain in the world to climb, and, it, and it's in front of you, and you don't know what to do. You know, some people will sit there and think of everything else they can do to get out of the situation. One to one day that I was really in a bad situation. I was in a bad, bad situation where I thought I was going to die or get killed or something like that it was going to happen to me. And the Lord spoke to my heart ever so subtle and said, Chris, if you don't know what to do, then don't do nothing. Nothing? Just don't do nothing. I'll take care of it. And as a matter of fact, the Lord didn't stop there. The Lord says, matter of fact, Chris, sit on your hands and don't move at all and don't do nothing and watch me work. And so I did. And do you know how God, I know you guys know, some of you have had to have seen the Lord just work in your life miraculously, you know, all my problems just went away, and I didn't have to do anything, but, you know, I may have made a mountain out of a molehill, but, you know, it's deeper than that, it has to do with God and your obedience to God. You know, for we, though we walk in our flesh, the battle or the war is not against the flesh. And I'm just paraphrasing. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. For pulling down strongholds and casting down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every single thought into captivity unto the obedience of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't know what to do and you're out of answers and you know you're tired of hearing people's advice, do this. Pray to the Lord, sit on your hands and don't do nothing and watch the Lord work promise you, he will come through for you in that situation, whatever your situation be, the Lord will come through for you, and while I'm on the subject, you know, a, a verse that has really helped me throughout my whole life was this, where there's no wood, the fire goes Paraphrasing that too, but you'll see it on the, the cover to this video. I will post the actual scripture. You know, quit giving the devil wood to burn because the devil is fire and he's fiery. You know, he's always trying to start a fire and he only gets his ammo from the wood that you give him, you know. Quit giving the devil so much wood to burn. And start finding the peace in your life. I love you guys. I appreciate every one of you for your support. For all the extra knowledge and everything that you guys have to offer to the Lord's channel. And uh, I just love you guys to death. And I pray that we all meet at the wedding and we will
rapture or no rapture, you know, tongues or no tongues, we're all gonna meet up again one day, just hopefully on the right side of the line. God bless each and every one of you out there. Remember, you're the heads, not the tails. God can use me. He can use you too. In Jesus' precious name, Yeshua HaMashiach. His precious, precious, powerful name. The only name that there's salvation in. Remember that. Is there any other gods out there that are reaching out to you saying, you know what, I'll save you. No, Buddha ain't trying to save you. Uh, whoever the Muslims is, he ain't trying to save you. He's trying to behead you. You know, let's stick with the script, everybody. I love you. God bless. Chapter 4. Furthermore then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed, ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet, and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Brother Christopher with the heads, not the tails.